Good afternoon, this is Andre Boot from Treasury One, and welcome to the weekly market update. What are we discussing this week? We're solely focusing on the US CPI number, and why is the US CPI number important? Well, it gives us a gauge of how the Fed has gone about hiking interest rates and how that has affected inflation, as the Fed wants inflation as low as possible. We've seen that the inflation number printed at 5% today, and with the estimated 5.2%, so it's a little bit better. Month on month, it's also a little bit better. So this leaves the Fed with a bit of a conundrum, whether they hike interest rates at their next meeting or keep a pause. There's been a lot of fence sitting at the moment um, after, the, after the data has been released, with some people saying that the Fed has got enough ammunition now to pause rates. Other people are still looking for 25 basis point hikes. But one thing is certain, we are nearing the end of the interest rate hiking cycle in America. We expect the hikes to start influencing economic data going forward and that there should be a recession in the third or fourth quarter of this year um, with, and then cuts, subsequent cuts as, the year, or as we go into the next year. Um, what does this mean for the RAND? Well, in the short term, the RAND enjoyed the better than expected CPI numbers. The RAND went all the way down to 18 Rand 25 and we did see the RAND slip back to 18 Rand 35. We have to remember that the RAND has got a significant risk premium attached to it due to our local issues. That's why we need some sort of risk on environment or something fundamentally to change for the RAND to start showing a significant gain, significant gain like the other EMs and push back down to fair value. That's it for the market wrap. Enjoy your day.